Meet Daniel Kish. He's blind, but that doesn't stop him from riding his bike. As you watch him, remember, he can't see a thing. I have been totally blind from the age of 13 months due to a retinal cancer. I have no visual memories. So Daniel taught himself how to see with his ears, bouncing sound off objects like cars, trees, and poles. We have something that isn't a tree. It's uh, something else. There are no branches on it. It's called flash sonar you're using sound to see with instead of light. In the animal world, it's called echolocation, and it's used by dolphins, beluga whales, and bats. Bats, for example, can echolocate, and they tend to navigate in the dark. It works like this. The click bounces off an object. The time it takes for the echo to return tells Daniel distance and location. Tell me when you sense it's there. Yeah. Today, this real-life yeah. Batman travels the world teaching his technique to the visually impaired. Left. Right. Right again. That click brings information back to the user. You get location, you get dimension, the general form factor of the object, and you get what we call depth of structure, which involves the density of an object, how solid it is or how sparse it is. Flash sonar is something like carrying around a flashlight with you and shining that flashlight into the environment, except instead of light, you're using sound. To demonstrate just how well flash sonar works, Daniel agreed to the ultimate demonstration of his abilities. The goal? Find a ball in the middle of an open field. For comparison's sake, we set out our blindfolded producer to see if she could locate the ball using, well, blind luck. Oh. Was I on the hill there? Am I hot? Daniel zeroes in on the ball in less than three minutes. After about 20 minutes... I'm not close, am I? Our frustrated producer throws in the towel. I give up! Daniel has taught thousands of people to see with their ears. On the streets, at home, he proves that it is possible to illuminate with sound.